Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video game review, of course, for The Last of Us 2. And, of course, you remember the last, last, last of us that came out, which is basically um, 2013. You got to think back all the way to 2013 when that game came out, right? So, that game was basically about the fireflies. The fireflies caused, like, this crazy massive infection that spread throughout the town and everything just burned down, right? People were running, they were panicking, and, invest and eventually, those people became the infected. Before that, Joel had a daughter. She actually passed away because she got shot by one of the Firefly members. And, you know, Joel, so after that, after that happened, Joel pretty much became this sour guy. You know, for, for good reasons, pretty much. And Ellie constantly asks him, like, why the hell are you so sour? Why are you this? Why are you always so cranky? And he refuses to answer. And then he basically tells her, all you need to know is that we need to get you to that area ASAP, and that's all there's need to know. Mind your own business, basically. So, without further ado, he takes her to the hospital, finally reach the end of the game, right? Because it's a quick summary I'm done doing. And he drops her off. He asks the question, what happens to the girl after the incision, right? And the answer is clear as day. She's not going to survive. So he comes back and he just refuses to lose anybody else that is important to him. So he just comes back. Because Ellie so much reminds him of his daughter, you know, very enthusiastic, always asking questions, pretty much. Although he never mentions it, but you can tell it does, because he just always, when she asks his questions about his life, he feels mind boggled by it. Um, and people always like, and not only that, when the series first began, people actually mentioned that she bears a striking resemblance to his daughter. And everybody thought, wait, is she still alive? It's like, no, she's not. This is a new character, her name is Ellie. So basically, she's taken there to the hospital. Joe comes back in. He shoots this guard right in the kidney. Mind you, is the same spot his daughter got actually um, shot by wounded, gun wounded by one of the uh, Firefly members. And I guess he did that, not just to send a message, but to let it be known that he refuses to lose anybody else that he cares about. So with that, that set the stages for a successful story and The Last of Us 2. So on Tuesday, a rumor began going around that the sequel to 2013 survival horror smash hit game The Last of Us would be announced at this June's Electronic Entertainment Expo E3. Now we have a bit of information regarding this game. The project was apparently confirmed by source who wanted to remain unanimously unknown, but a lot of information was leaked overall. The source is claiming that The Last of Us 2 will be released on PS4 at some point in 2018, which means you have some decent amount of time before it's actually released. With compatibility, compatibility for the PlayStation VR headset, apparently Joel and Ellie will be returning in the sequel. However, they may not end up being the game's main character, although that was the original formula from the start. Now, what happened? What caused them to not work on the game during the entire time they actually came up with the idea? Well, Uncharted 4, believe it or not, is exactly what happened. Naughty Dog, which is the developer for The Last of Us, is set to release Uncharted 4, Thieves, and on May 10th. Wait for it, because here comes the most important part. They, they'll they begin working on the downloadable content for Uncharted 4, right? Get that out of the way first. So after DLC for Uncharted 4 has been completed, it is expected that Naughty Dog will resurrect the prototypes for The Last of Us 2. So there you have it. The reason why they never actually worked on Last of Us 2 after Last of Us finished is because they were asked to work on Uncharted 4 immediately right off the bat. So that's what they did. And their next focus is the single player Uncharted 4 DLC. And then once they have enough resources to resurrect the, uh, all those prototypes for The Last of Us 2, see where they are at, see where the team is at, and what they're excited for, and go from there. So basically, everybody's excited for the emotional connection it was in the game, and the the well-played story that played out all the way to the end of that first Last of Us game. So that's pretty much what all the fans are looking for. That 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 straight stands, this strict, straight line through the story, and that emotional tempo the game brings that makes it feel as this real life that is so real, right? So, Nell Druckmann, who is the creative director at Naughty Dog, told PlayStation Manage Magazine that the studio was cons considering a few different ideas for The Last of Us 2. One of which introducing new main characters, which could mean that Joel and Ellie wouldn't be returning to the series. So, Druckmann also said that he and his partner, Bruce Sterling, were considering making The Last of Us a sci-fi fantasy game. So, the first Last of Us game ended in, way, ended in a way that didn't exactly call for a sequel, so many are thinking that the second game will feature brand new main characters, which, as previously mentioned, is an idea that has been tossed around by Dirkman and Sterling, because it ended in such a way that it gave it a definite end. You know, there was like a to-be-continuum, 
or anything like that. It was a DLC afterwards for Ellie separately, but there was no to be continued at the end of any of those, the real main game and the DLC. That could possibly mean there could be two brand new characters that would either A, meet up with Joel and Ellie at the end of the game, or B, not meet up with Joel and Ellie and just not know who these people are. Or just hear that they were, that they were awesome working together as a team. Maybe they, they're going to hear that, or maybe they're going to hear about this, like, or maybe you're going to have, you're going to hear the Fireflies talking about this Joel guy. And then the two main characters are going to be like, who the heck is this Joel guy everybody just keeps talking about? And they probably don't know who the guy is, obviously, because they're two brand new characters in the series. So they might have to wait all the way towards the end of the game, or to get close towards the end of the game, to find out who he is. So there have been a ton of rumors surrounding the production of The Last of Us 2 since the success of the first game in 2013. Of course, the first game was a massive moneymaker, so a sequel seems to be like a no-brainer, right? Last June, Nolan North was who was the voice of David in the first game, said that he knew that Naughty Dog was making a Last of Us sequel, but this past February, very North apologized for guaranteeing a second game from The Last of Us. Troy Baker, who voiced Joel in the first game, said that he has no idea if Neil Jerkman and Bruce Sterley are planning on creating a sequel or if you play or be involved in any of the sequel playing a certain character. Even though, even though Jerkman and Sterley are considering making a sequel without Joel and Ellie, it will seem that they'll eventually find a way to tell a new story with the two characters because of their popularity in the series, of course. So basically, like, prodigies, legends, think of games that have awesome warriors, they have stories about them. Think of mangas about awesome warriors, think about Naruto, think of First Okage and Madara, think about like that, think about Sage Six Path. Kind of, sort of, at a high, hiatus level like that, I'd be like, okay, this Joel guy, who is he? They, they, I, I, and they're probably be like, no, but I heard he fights pretty well. I heard he knows how to defend. And then he has this little girl that teaches everything to her. And she knows how to fight exactly like he does. And she's a boss. Who knows? It might go like something like that, you know, setting the highest level, putting them on the highest pedestal possible to make it seem, okay, these two are prodigies that they're talking about. And just maybe the two main characters meet up at the end of the game. Who knows? You guys need to be the judges about that. Comment down below. Do you think Ellie and Joel will be at the end of the game? They'll meet up with these new main characters? Or will they not? Because if they're gonna do a hiatus of these two characters, of Ellie and Joel, and how good were they working as a team, you gotta add the details and blur the lines as well, right? So even though Dirkman and Sturdy are considering making a sequel without Joel and Ellie, it would seem that they'll eventually find a way to put everything together and mash it all into one. So when Naughty Dog releases Uncharted 3, Drake's deception back in 2011, they hinted at their next project, which turned out to be The Last of Us, in the game's opening scene, so they may end up doing the same at some point in Uncharted 4. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for listening to this video. Update on The Last of Us 2. So just be on the lookout 2018 so you already know videos might start coming as soon as by the end of this year or going into next year. Thank you very much and have a great day.